You guys want to learn how to flip houses? Well, guess what? I'm going to walk you through this one right here, right? We're going to go over the ARV. We're going to go over the scope of work. We're going to go over the costs. We're going to go over whether or not this is a good or a bad deal, right? Because I see a lot of you guys out there thinking properties might make some good flips and you guys are drastically overestimating your ARVs. You're drastically underestimating your scope of work. Don't you worry. Your boy here is going to take care of that. Going to teach y'all how to get it done. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise here, and I work with people like you every single day. Help you guys do deals, man. Help you guys... Invest in the real estate! Yee-haw! I'm parched. Give me a second. Now today, I got caught in the throat there. I had to get that down. Now today, my client, right, guy named Mark, he's an investor from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, and by the way, when I teach you guys things here on the show, you can apply what I'm going to teach you, the principles I'm going to teach you, uh, to any market where you are, right? But if you want to go one step further and actually work with me and my team where we would perform the flip for you, we would do the renovation, we would resell it, we would do everything, you got to come to my market, which is Northeast Ohio. That's where this is, right? So my client, Mark, he's in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and he sent this to me because he's looking to partner with us to do some flips in the Cleveland market, and he saw this one. He thought this was a pretty good deal, right? Nice-looking brick house in the Cleveland market, right? So if you want to do deals on your own, great. Do those deals. I give you guys a ton of resources, knowledge, and education. Apply these strategies where you are. Uh, if you want to do deals in Cleveland, you could partner with me, and I will go through the actual MLS and do those deals with you, right? So if you want to work with me like Mark is doing after the show, uh, under the video, book a free call with my team. Click the notes, book a free call with my team. We'll get you customized videos. If you want to do these deals on your own in your own home market, you're going to need this kind of data. And luckily for you, I got it right here. Prop stream. OK, also in the notes under the video, you click get a free trial. You get MLS like data in any market and every market. It's nationwide in the United States. Right. You get a free trial because you followed that link. And then if you continue on. Uh, buying the software, you will get a discount every single month for being a Holton Weiss TV subscriber, right? So if you like what you're seeing and you want to do it on your own, get the prop stream for free. If you like what you're seeing and you want to partner with me, you got to do so in Cleveland and then book a call and we'll do so. Mark chose to do so with me, right? So we're in the Cleveland market. That's where my team is. I sell $200 million worth of real estate. And you saw this one, 3688 Rolleston Road, Shaker Heights, 44120. $119,000, Shaker Heights. Now, I've graded every neighborhood in the Cleveland market on A to F scale. A, high, co high cost properties, low tenants, right? So mostly owner occupied, very low risk. F, you're looking at super cheap properties, mostly tenant occupied, very few owner occupants, high risk, right? Depending on what real estate strategy you want to do, you're probably going to fall somewhere in there, right? Like for long-term rentals, I think like C is my bread and butter. But for flips, I like A-grade flips because usually you have like a much wider margin, right? And that is what this neighborhood is. Shaker Heights is, in fact, an A-grade neighborhood. But to, to, to go deeper into that, deeper into Shaker Heights, what you need to know is Shaker Heights is a transitional neighborhood, right? There's some A-grade neighborhoods where it's just like all rich people. Shaker Heights has a bunch of rich people, but then it does have some houses that, like, trail down, right? So overall, if I'm grading the entire city, I guess, like, I'll average it out to, like, an A. But there are definitely uh, lower-cost homes uh, as you go in there, right? So that could make for an outsider like you, Mark. It could make you have some troubles uh, trying to determine your ARV. I'm not sure what you think the ARV is here, but the ARV on this one is only going to be about 180, right? So that's only going to lead of a, uh, <coughs> leave us 60K to work with here because they're looking for 120. And this deal just ain't going to cut it, bro. This, there's no deal here. Uh, what you need to understand 
about Shaker Heights is they have an incredibly robust and ridiculous point of sale system, right? Uh, for info on what the point of sale process is in the Cleveland market, folks, got that in the show notes too. Whole video explaining it. But more or less, some cities require you to put up escrowed funds, and before anybody could buy or sell, either the seller has to repair these items or the buyer has to put up escrowed funds and assume them, right? And they make you do certain things, right? And with this property, a big problem is they want you to completely rebuild a garage. Now, if they want you to rebuild a garage, make it match the house, because they could they force you to do this, right? You don't have a say. Yo, you got to do the garage. That's it. Uh, by the time you redo the garage, right, and you handle the POS, you're like way the hell over your budget here, right? Because 180 is your ARV, right? A garage itself is going to be twenty five, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, okay? In addition... I read through their POS on this. It's like eight pages, dude. You got to like redo sidewalks. You got to do this. You got to do that. And then you take the interior of the house. I don't have any information on that. We just know it's uh, as is uh, <clears throat> foreclosure sales. So we got to assume it's totally jacked, right? So like, what are we looking at here? I mean, it's unknown. Outside, I know we probably got like 35 grand. Inside, what are we looking at? Another 35, 45, 55, 65? It's, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh and with the ARV, what it is, I just I see no scenario where you're going to come out with a deal here. I think the most likely buyer on this one is going to be somebody who's just like an owner-occupant uh, who wants to buy it and is going to like slowly do the work themselves, right? Because uh, it's been on the market freaking forever. And for you as a house flipper to try to go in and actually put in an offer, I mean, dude, you're really going to have to come in at like half of what they're, they're, they're asking and I just believe if that was the case, the seller could easily, like, for you, you'd probably have to spend, like, 60 k for this deal to pencil out, right? That's probably what you could pay, 60 k But the seller's probably going to take 90 right? Because, like, an owner-occupant would pick it up at 90 right? So there's just, there's no meat here, there's no spread, and just the point-of-sale process itself is is really increased the cost, and there's just better deals to be had, Uh it's like a one in a million shot that you're going to turn this one into a profitable flip. So I would just move on from this one. I see no deal here for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.